We have several, several new developments in the Ahmad Arbery case. New video appears to show him moments before he was shot and killed. And Georgia's attorney general is now asking federal investigators to look into the case. This morning, the investigation into the shooting death of Ahmad Arbery is facing new scrutiny. Georgia's attorney general is now asking the Department of Justice to investigate how the case has been handled. Authorities in Brunswick, Georgia, charged a father and son with murder last week, more than two months after the shooting when newly released videos showing Arbery's killing sparked outrage. And now, videos being reviewed by investigators have surfaced. In footage obtained by ABC affiliate First Coast News, a man enters this house under construction. Arbery's lawyers say they believe it's him. Minutes before he was shot, video from inside the home obtained by WJXT shows the man looking around. According to his lawyers, Arbery left in under three minutes, adding he did not take anything or cause any damage, adding Ahmad's actions were in no way a felony under Georgia law. The homeowner tells the Washington Post nothing was stolen from the property. The video seems to be sped up and slowed down in places. Two men, presumed to be murder suspects, Gregory and Travis McMichael, are seen getting into a truck. There's a black male running down the street. Video then shows the McMichaels waiting for Arbery with guns as Arbery, who was unarmed, approaches their truck. There's a struggle between Arbery and Travis McMichael before the 25-year-old is shot and killed. The McMichaels told police they thought Arbery was this man, caught on surveillance from this construction site. The images given to ABC News by a local lawyer. Since October, three other trespassing incidents were reported there. The Arbery say that man is not a mod. Gregory McMichael had a career in county law enforcement. Two prosecutors recused themselves from the case because of their apparent connections to the father and son. Glenn County officials say on the day of the shooting, the district attorney's office told police no arrests were necessary. A second DA then reviewed the evidence and the video of the killing. Within 24 hours, uh, of uh, this uh, homicide. He thought there was no probable cause for arrest. And now more celebrities are demanding justice. In a letter to the Atlanta Journal Constitution, entertainers, including music mogul Jay-Z and singer Alicia Keys, want a special prosecutor appointed. And this morning, Atlanta's mayor is also speaking out, saying without video of the shooting being made public, she believes no arrest would have been made. It's 2020. And this was a lynching of an African-American man. Also new from overnight, we are hearing from the homeowners of that property under construction. Uh, they say they play no role in this moment. They also say that they have no connection to the suspects, the McMichaels. Um, and this final statement, part of the statement, they say that the homeowner would never have sought a vigilante response, much less one resulting in a tragic death.